First Thessalonians chapter five, verse three. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there pushing this word in truth, sincerity, and indeed. Your brother Kapatazah from the Great Millstone Chicago branch coming at you with another quick walk and talk. Uh, Lord willing, it's edifying. Uh, and yeah, I just want to throw it out there. You know, just something quick, man, just to, you know, put in the hearts and minds, you know, of the sheep out there of what to expect. It seems as though things are calming down and, you know, the so-called new normal is starting to set in and you would think it's gonna be business as usual, but it's not, all right? Things are only taking the back seat, kinda of, sorta of, a little bit, because it's the holiday season, <clears throat> okay? And as we all know, Esau, Edom, they're gonna keep their system afloat for the holiday season so they can get that holiday money, all right? You see these sheeple that are so plugged into the matrix they are so plugged into the traditions of men, all right? The paganistic holidays, <laughs> there it is. You see, they're gonna spend their money and they wanna, uh, you know, have a happy holiday. Thanksgiving is coming up, Christmas is coming up, fake New Year's is coming up, all right? So people are gonna be ready to spend their money, all right? Now, what they're not telling you is that meat prices are set to skyrocket over the next couple of months, all right? Meat prices are set to skyrocket over the next couple of months, okay? First of all, your Thanksgiving turkey, your Thanksgiving turkey alone, you're looking at spending between 30 to $50, all right? And that I might be lowballing, man, all right? But real soon, after the holiday season, after, you know, January and shit like that, those meat prices are getting ready to go up another 10%, man. All right? And probably more than that, as well as the price of other goods. Here it is right now, man. Gas here in Chicago is $4 a gallon, man. All right? Last time I checked, the cheapest I saw was about three ninety. dollars All right? But everywhere around my neighborhood, gas is over $4 a gallon, man. Okay? And it's the holiday season, so just be on the lookout for what's coming man okay a lot of people are still out of work you know they had two consecutive months what's going on brother they had two consecutive months man four million people leaving the workforce all right that's eight million people in total for the last couple of months i don't mean shit november reports haven't even came out yet all right but you know there's going to be an uptick in hiring because of the holiday season so <clears throat> don't think because these people are having a holly jolly christmas <laughs> that shit is sweet all right <clears throat> so uh yeah just be on the lookout for that man um it's getting ready to get real austria and germany they're locking down uh their countries again all right due to um how can i word this without getting smoked <laughs> due to mandates all right y'all already know what's up all right they're getting ready to lock down their countries okay Australia is still going crazy over there in the islands, all right? The Bahamas, the islands, there's a lot of uproar going on, man, over these mandates, okay? They're rioting right now, okay? Shit is just going crazy right now, but they're not showing it to you in the media. Also, <clears throat> I don't know why this was even news, but just, you know, keep an eye on it. What's it called? You know, Sleepy Joe, he's getting ready to have a colonoscopy all right so they're getting ready to vacuum his ass and um he's temporarily putting kamala harris into presidential power you know what i mean she's basically going to be the commander in chief uh while he's doing this colonoscopy why they would put that out there i don't know is there something underlying is uh he gonna be out of commission for longer than what they're saying who knows you know this is the first time i've seen some shit like that you know in the media <clears throat> Slakia. All right, this isn't the first time that a president has handed over presidential powers to the vice president. 
All right, it's happened before, but why this made news media headlines, who knows, okay? Are they cooking up something bigger? Who knows, all right? If after the holiday season, Joe Biden is still uh, unable to execute his office as the president and Kamala Harris is taking over, look out, <laughs> all right? Look out, all right? That's how we know shit is finna really, really get real, all right? But yeah, man, uh, that's about it. You know, let's just... Uh, be circumspect and uh, keep our ears to the pavement and our eyes on the streets, man. Because as it is written in Proverbs 22 and 3, the prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. So uh, with that, I hope this was edifying. All praises, all glory, and all honor be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakha Kodash, Shalom, and Ababa Bah.